Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're a first time watcher, glad to have you here. If you're a returning favorite, welcome on back. So today I have some candles. Um, Patrick over at the Candle Daddy, yes, the Candle Daddy, reached out to me um, and offered me a, a few cents here. He sent me a, a whole big goodie box here. Um, so we were talking about some of the holiday scents. I did request uh, some holiday scents since we are going into the holidays. Now, the thing about the Candle Daddy this is the disclaimer, is if you have followed the Candle Daddy on Instagram, or I think they have a Facebook page there as well, uh, TikTok, I don't have TikTok, so I don't know what's on the TikTok, but um, some of the names of the candles can be a little non-PC, a little raunchy. So uh, I'm going to describe the sense. I will do as much as I can about the names, but just so you know, they are like, they're novelty names, but they are real fragrances, okay? So, um, so, I'm not even gonna say some of the names, okay? They're not like curse words, they're just innuendos, okay? Um, so, we'll leave it at that. Um, so, these are all hand poured in, uh, in Indiana, um, so there are a couple other ones um on their website that are not poured there so i specifically requested ones that were the hand poured ones um and they're little six ounce uh six ounce jars like this so we will get into it here so the first one we have uh, we'll uh go over my overview and i have a discount code for you in the as well um oh before i do that they're also kind of to send me a uh, a face mask a candle daddy face mask you know we have to wear those right now and a um wickman uh trimmer i i, I need a new trimmer anyhow this is uh made by wickman wickman's actually a uh a well-known name in the candle industry for trimmers uh, dippers or whatnot um but i don't know if you can tell on here but it is engraved says the candle daddy right there laser etched engraved so um that was really cool and really kind of them so let's go with show them all first dickens cider okay then we have cherry tobacco scent um this one has no name but it's a christmas candle has no name on it um, I looked on the website, it also had no name. Um, this is Christmas tree. Christmas tree. This is, um, firewood. Uh, these next two, oh, sorry, I'm on here. Um, this is cookies. And these next two are not, um, Christmas related, but they are me related because I've been always on a search for these candles um these type of fragrances so we have uh fresh cut grass is this one and dirt dirt a dirt candle i've been asking for dirt candles for years um and it smells like wet dirt i love it i love it <laughs> so and as you can see they're hand pour so you know small small business some of the wicks are a little off-centered but um, you roll with the punches with it, you let it pull out, and then you just move it on over. That being said, I haven't burned any of these, so I don't know, um, if they are strong. Candles this size typically do well in smaller rooms, powder rooms, bathrooms, um, small guest rooms, okay? I, I think they'll even tell you these things aren't going to scent your, your whole house, these little jars. I could be wrong, but... These are just more for smaller spaces, for ambiance, okay? Um, so let's get into it here. So, dirt. Dirt. Smells like I just opened up a fresh bag of potting soil. I love it. Um, potting soil, okay? Fresh cut grass here. Green wax. And I would trim these wicks. Um, that's a little too high for my thing, so I would certainly trim these wicks. They do say trim to a quarter of an inch. 
fresh cut grass. <laughs> I mean, you can't describe it. It's, it's the greenery of the fresh cut grass. Best bee cookies. We have Santa Claus coming down the chimney on Christmas Eve. Looking for his cookies and milky laid out. Look at that tan wax there. This one's great. This is like sugar cookie meets almond cookie a little bit in here. But it's certainly not a super, super sweet sugar cookie. Um, buttery, very uh, buttery sweet sugar cookie here. With a little bit of the that topping. Um, you know how it kind of gets to get a little toasted on top? With some sugar cookies that's what you have here okay move that over there <sighs> christmas tree christmas tree it's a dark green wax here this is um really authentic to the balsam fir fraser fir family of trees and you do get a little bit of the cedar, a little bit of that fresh cut wood, wet wood on here. So there is that. It's actually a really nice, authentic Christmas tree scent. Some Christmas trees, for me, they smell like jelly beans. I know, I talked about that in another video. But they smell like jelly beans for some reason. This does not, so um, I'll give it there. <clears throat> Next up we have here, we'll just go by generic Christmas candle. No name. Red wax. This is like your um, craft store holiday spices. Um, I'll even go holly berry in here. Some of that going on. Red hot cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So if those fragrances are up your alley... No name Christmas candle is for you. It might have a name. It just says the candle daddy on it. I don't mean to be facetious or mean, but um, I'm just gonna call it no name Christmas candle. Cool, cool by me. Um, okay, so cherry tobacco. So these are all six ounces, by the way. Okay. Going back to my college days, what were those things that had, they looked like whistles, right? They were the long, they were, they had, they, um, I don't know, but they, they were like tobacco things or whatnot. Um, and they were all fl flavored, right? Like flavored tobacco, something like that. So, um, that's what this really is. It's just the cherry cherry tobacco flavoring. Not overly heavy on like the tobacco leaf, where it's not like smoky tobacco. Um, it's more cherry scented than tobacco scented, if that makes sense. Dark cherry. So it's actually blended really well. Um, some... Some tobacco scents can just, it's like someone's smoking a cigar in your house, right? Um, not pleasant, okay? Next we have here is Dickens Cider, okay? White wax. It's a really nice um, apple cider with a little bit of a caramel kick in here. Again, very pleasant, very smooth. Smooth uh, cider candle. <clears throat> so there is Dickens Cider. And guys, you know, um, holidays are coming up. Black Friday is coming up. And what comes after Black Friday? Well, that's Small Business Saturday. Okay. So these small businesses that I feature on the channel this year, any year, um, could really use your support. And, you know, because all the stuff going on in the world today with COVID and what have you there. Um, 
So even you can think of a gift for someone, you know, um, I'll, I'll use the term uh, that QVC uses all the time, um, bill to, ship to, right? You know, where you buy it and you just have it shipped um, to your person you're giving the gift to. So, um, you know, especially in times of COVID. So, um, that's my public service announcement. Uh, firewood, okay. This is the last one I have here, by the way, for, for the holidays. This is one of the best smoky candles I have smelled. When we get scents like firewood, fireplace, fireside, winter fireside, those companies, those candles take liberties and they don't give us the true smokiness, right? Like they use a clove or they use some other kind of spice to simulate and tone down the actual smokiness of a, of a candle. Um, this does the exact opposite. So there are two candles. Well, there's this one here and one other one that I think give off a true smoke. And that's other than kindling candle, by the way. Um, so if you want a pure smoky, um, like you're right there vibe, uh, go with this candle here. It does not take any liberties to tone down the smokiness or use artificial smoke. Um, you know, you can use liquid smoke in your barbecue, but um, it doesn't like use like clove or any other spices to simulate the smoke. So that's that. Now guys, I promised you a code here. So it is 10% off. I'll put it up here. Um, and it's Philly. P-H-I-L-L-Y is 10% off. Um, I'm not sure how long that's good for. I think it's good for a while. Um, but if you're going to be shopping them for, for the holidays, uh, use that code, save 10%, and then have it shipped to you or have it shipped to friend or family receiving the candle. Um, but yeah, support the small businesses this year, small businesses. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks again to Candle Daddy for sending these on over and uh, allowing me to talk about them and spread the good word. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all real soon. Have a good one.